Morning, beautiful souls. I want to just share um, a little piece on the home oak tree. Where I live, which is right on the beach in southeast Kent, <clears throat> we have a very long stretch of beach, uh, Shingle Beach, and over the years um, it's been it's been uh, nibbled into the coastline. The sea has been nibbling into the coastline. And, um, and I just want to point out that we are very fortunate that we have an abundance of home oak trees. Now, there could be more, that would be good. And the reason why I'm so grateful for this is because the home oak trees are doing an incredible feat. They can actually grow through the shingle, strong, strong trees, and they're helping to stabilize the land. So what's, you know, for some people, some cons um, people in conservation, um, they're not so keen on the home oak because they go, oh, but it's not indigenous tree. But, you know, we're under times of change. We have to get used to that. You know, times are changing. And these trees are actually hundreds of years old anyway. So what makes something indigenous when it is hundreds of years old? These trees are doing an enormously wonderful job. I used to see so many of these trees when I lived in Spain and I just love them because when the wind catches them you see the underside of their leaf and it's like a silver white, like platinum. Um, and at the moment of course we've got strong winds with this Eunice storm and so it's really beautiful. It's like shimmering beautiful emerald leaves, um, emerald and diamond leaves. So I'm just going around the beach at the moment and I'm just giving thanks to all of these wonderful trees and saying thank you because right now, you know, it's so evident their job and what they're doing to help to stabilize this beach and I'm so grateful. And, um, and when we're grateful, we have to remember to put out that gratefulness. We have to practice things that assist this planet and um, saying prayers to trees and to the mineral kingdom and to all of the different natural kingdoms on this planet and to your friends and to the people that touch you and everything else actually sends out a ripple of more love and more gratitude and more wonderful wonderfulness and that's what the planet needs that's what we all need so um, just spend a moment and think about things that you're grateful for and right now with the storm if you have the storm passing through your your house i say through your house like your environment then think of things that are helping to stabilize your environment and also how are you stabilizing uh, things during the storm are you remaining grounded are you assisting if you have a dog are you are you remaining neutral with roots down into the into the ground so that when you walk your dog is less fearful there's lots of things that we can all practice each day we don't have to get caught up in the fear and uh, the craziness of stuff. God bless you all. Peace and love.